in this video, we're going to create a new point style and assign it to the points that are in this drawing. To create a new point style, what you have to do is you have to go to the tool space and go to the settings tab. Inside the settings tab, under points, you can navigate to the point styles drop down. Inside of here is all of the point styles that are associated with this drawing. To create a new one, you right click on the point styles folder and select new. This will open up a point style creation window box for a new point style. We're going to go ahead and call this new point style calc because it's going to be the point style associated with our calc points from earlier. We'll navigate to the next tab, which will define how our marker is displayed. And you can, for a marker, use an AutoCAD point for a marker. You can use a custom marker defined by these traits inside of this custom marker style box, or you can use an AutoCAD block for a symbol. You can define a marker rotation angle, and you can also define your marker size. The marker size can be defined using the drawing scale, and you can set the drawing scale size that you want to have it at. You can also use a fixed scale. You can use a size in absolute units, and you can use a size relative to your view. I'm going to go ahead and create a new marker style that is a plus sign with a circle. I'm going to move on to the 3D geometry. And this is where you can define how you want that point to be displayed in three-dimensional space. And do you want to use the point elevation, flatten points to a specific elevation, or exaggerate the points by a scale factor? I'm going to leave the points at their specified elevation. Then you move on to the display tab where you can choose how that point is going to be displayed in plan view, model view, profile view, and section view. And then you have the summary tab, which goes over all of the selections that you've made on the previous tabs. So I'm going to go ahead and hit apply and hit OK. And now down inside of our point styles, you'll see that we now have a calc point style. To apply this point style, what you need to do is navigate back to the prospector window and go to points and you can choose edit points. And we could go into this panorama window and force the style by selecting and shift selecting and clicking on that standard and then choosing calc. However, because calc is part of a description key set, if we ever applied the description key sets back into the drawing, then our marker style would be switched back to standard because in our description key set, our style for our marker is set to standard. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna jump back into settings and I'm gonna jump back into points, back into description key sets, and I'm gonna edit my keys. I'm gonna go find calc and I'm gonna choose my style, and I'm gonna set that style to calc, and select OK, and confirm, and then I'm gonna navigate back into the Prospector tab, I'm gonna go back to Points, I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna click Select, and then I'm gonna right click again and apply my description keys. And now you'll see that if I zoom in on a point, our new marker style that we just created has been applied to our calc points.